It is Thursday, December 3rd, 2020, and this is your Three Gorges Dam update. We have six pieces of information to cover today, including a look at the live stream and the water level at the dam. We also have a new image that shows even more debris upstream of the Three Gorges Dam and a tweet courtesy of Cakesy and Global that seems to show floodwaters receding downstream of the dam. And we have this comment courtesy of Al P, which ties into this article, China to build super dam on its part of the Brahmaputra River. And we have some new tweets. Let's hop into it. First, we'll have a quick look at the live stream and the spillway angle camera is still up and running today. And now we'll check in on the side angle camera. It's still down today. Now let's have a quick look at the water level at the Three Gorges Dam. The current water level is 173.99 meters. The current inflow is not noted and the current outflow is listed at 6,170 cubic meters per second. It is worth noting that these numbers are released by the CCP. Over the past 24 hours, the water level at the Three Gorges Dam is up just a bit. It was about 173.95 meters and currently sits at 173.99 meters. Upstream at the Kuntan Hydrological Monitoring Station, the water level is also up just a bit. It was about 174.1 meters 24 hours ago and currently sits at 174.15 meters. And I wanted to show you guys this first today. It's a tweet dated December 1st that shows even more garbage in the Yangtze River. It says workers in boats remove garbage from the Yangtze River in Yichang in central China's Hubei province. And if you look and follow the river downstream, you can see the cranes of the Three Gorges Dam. So this is yet another debris pile slightly upstream of the Three Gorges Dam. Another tweet that I found interesting and wanted to share today is courtesy of Cakesy and Global. It says the Tiangxingchao Island in Wuhan has shown sand dunes as the water level in the middle and lower reaches of the Yangtze River gradually decreases in winter. It is worth noting that Cakesy and Global is China state affiliated media, so the actual date of these photos is unknown. But according to these photos at least, the flooding has subsided downstream of the Three Gorges Dam. And before we move on, I wanted to read this comment that was left on Tuesday's video by Al P. It kind of ties in with the rest of today's video. It says Mao had two dreams for China. First, dam the Yangtze River. Second, divert water to the arid west and north of China. China's dams on the Mekong have drastically reduced river flows to countries downstream. Both the Indus and Brahmaputra rivers have their headwaters dammed in China, with more dams planned. In addition to damming rivers, China has laid claim to land of many of its neighbors, grabbing land by force or coercion. Under the catchphrase, in ancient times, this land was historically Chinese. Thanks so much for that comment, Al P. It actually ties in with this next article. Evidently, China has even more ambitious plans to build super dams in the future. China to build a super dam on its part of the Brahmaputra River. China will build a super dam on the lower reaches of the Yarlung Zhangpo River, close to the line of actual control in Tibet, a state media report said on Sunday, in a move that could have a far-reaching impact on North India's water security. The state media report indicated that the dam's construction could take place in Madog County of Tar, which is close to Arunachal Pradesh. China has already built several smaller dams on the Yarlung Zhangbo River. The new dam's ability to generate hydropower could be three times that of central China's Three Gorges Dam, which has the largest installed hydropower capacity in the world. The new dam's focus will be on maintaining China's national security. 
China will build a hydro project on the Yarlung Zangbo River, one of the major waters in Asia that also passes through India and Bangladesh, the state-run tabloid Global Times said in a report on Sunday evening. There is no parallel in history of the project. It will be a historic opportunity for the Chinese hydropower industry. Yang Chaiyang, chairman of the Power Construction Corporation of China, or Power China, said at a conference last week. The initial work on the dam began with Power China on October 16th, signing a strategic cooperation agreement covering the 14th five-year plan with the Tar government. The news regarding the dam was published on an official social media platform of the ruling Communist Party of China's Youth League last week. Yan added that the hydropower exploitation of the Yarlung Zhangpo River downstream is more than a hydropower project. It is also meaningful for the environment, national security, living standards, energy, and international cooperation. Academics have long pointed out China's strategic advantage over India in terms of international transboundary rivers. China has claimed express ownership over Tibet's waters, making it an upstream controller of seven of South Asia's mightiest rivers. For India, the one domain in which China's status as the upper riparian provides an almost insurmountable challenge in ensuring shared access to transboundary rivers. And as recent clashes on the border have made clear, India needs to assess how China might take advantage of those countries downstream. Thank you for watching this video. If you're finding it informative, please consider giving the channel a subscribe. And our last piece of information is a series of interesting tweets.
and I think that's a good place to wrap up today's video. I hope that you found it informative and check back soon for more content.